For Christ did not enter a man-made sanctuary that is only a copy of the true one. He entered heaven itself, now to appear for us in God's presence. Nor did he enter heaven to offer himself again and again, the way the high priest enters the most holy place every year, with blood that is not his own. Then Christ would have had to suffer many times since the creation of the world. Strangely, we keep seeing this same wording coming back over and over again, since the creation of the world, and this time in tandem with Jesus and his death. This implies that Jesus was killed when the world was made, and his sacrifice was a one-time deal. The author of Hebrews contrasts Jesus' once-for-all death with the earthly high priests who offered sacrifices each year. The author tells us that if Jesus had to sacrifice himself more than once, he would have had to do it many times throughout history, starting at the time the world was created. This belies the underlying belief that Jesus' crucifixion actually happened at the time the world was made. But wouldn't it be nice if we could find at least one reference that just came out and point-blank said, Jesus was killed at the time the world was made? Revelation 13.8 All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast, all whose names have not been written in the book of life, belonging to the Lamb that was slain from the creation of the world. Well, 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 what have we here? I think we just hit pay dirt. Slain from the creation of the world. Or another way to say it, crucified at the time the world was created. Could this verse be telling us exactly what many early Christians believed about the time frame of Jesus' crucifixion? Could the author of Revelation be telling us that Jesus was killed around the time when the world was created? Or is this just symbolism? A figure of speech telling us that God merely knew he was going to sacrifice Jesus thousands of years into the future in a remote area of the world. Some may argue that this phrase merely means his death was in essence a done deal, but didn't occur until the first century. But again, this is my whole point. This verse can be interpreted that way, but it can also be interpreted literally. We've already seen the author of Hebrews tell us that Jesus would have had to have died many times since the creation of the world if he was an earthly high priest. And we've also seen Paul tell us that the gospel message was a mystery hidden from mankind since the beginning of the world. I submit to you that this verse is not symbolic, but a fossil relic of early Christian belief that has miraculously survived the glosses and interpretations and edits of the Christian scribes and made its way to us today. And until now, since the notion of a mythical Jesus has only arisen in the last couple of hundred years, the only way people could interpret it was to say that God only knew it would happen later, but did not really happen when the world was made. All of the evidence we've just seen fits into the Jesus myth theory without having to do any special interpretations, but the orthodox view has to do some squirming and wriggling just to make them make sense. Paul tells us the gospel had been hidden since the world began. How could Jesus' death and resurrection be hidden throughout the ages unless it had actually happened at the beginning of the ages. Hebrews tells us that Jesus would have had to have been crucified many times since the world began if he was like the earthly high priest. And finally, Revelation tells us point blank that Jesus was, in fact, crucified around the time when the world was created. What further evidence could we ask for? We've just seen many verses that say Jesus was existing before the universe was even created and that it was created by him and through him. And we've also seen one New Testament writer say that if Jesus had to offer his, himself as a sacrifice more than once, he would have had to have done so since the beginning of the world. And we saw one New Testament writer, the uh, author of Revelation, tell us explicitly that Jesus was killed from the creation of the world. That's very peculiar if we think about the Orthodox view, which tells us that Jesus was killed sometime in the first century, maybe 30 years into it, in a small Middle Eastern region known as Palestine, 
on a small tiny hill called Golgotha. And that doesn't seem to fit with the creation of the world. The creation of the world is so far removed, it doesn't seem to make sense in the Orthodox view. But in the Jesus myth view, Jesus would have been in heaven with his father and he could have been killed at any time in the past if he existed uh, before the universe was created. He could have been killed when the world was created. And that's exactly what we saw supported in the verses that we looked at. Another piece of evidence that supports the Jesus myth theory. In the upcoming video, we're going to unearth another vestigial remnant of early Christianity. And it's going to dovetail into this piece you just saw quite nicely. And it's going to answer a riddle that hasn't been answered in 1900 years. I'll see you then.